1992, my friend and I, there was an ad in the paper, could we help this kid? They needed a bone marrow transplant. Recently, I was talking to Jay, and he said to me, that was for me, which blew my mind. I couldn't believe it, he knew everything about it. After that, we got involved with Gift of Life because one of our friend's kids was sick. I felt that if I could save someone's life, it would be a miracle. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I still feel that way. I had already been involved with Gift of Life and on the board. In the very beginning, we had less than 10,000 people in the registry. It has evolved, so we now have a registry in, in excess of 400,000 people. We also have done over 5,000 transplants since I joined. We're gonna to get to millions of people in the registry, and we're gonna grow it and grow it and grow it. That's been the growth of Gift of Life. It's worldwide. I was in a race car in Las Vegas, and I got out of the race car and I was black and blue, head to toe, from the vibration of the race car. And then I'm riding with a friend of mine, bike riding, and I get to the top of the hill and I can't breathe. After riding, I called one of my closest friends, who's my doctor, and I said, hey Adam, I must have bronchitis, I got to the top of the hill, I can't breathe. He does blood tests. The next morning he calls and he said, you're sick. He hands me a card for an oncologist at Wild Cornell. And he said, go there, I'm gonna meet you there. You get out, you get on the elevator and the door opens and everybody's bald in a gown with an IV drip and you're in the cancer patient waiting area. And then it was like, holy shit. Like, this is real. David called me up one night and said to me, I was diagnosed with leukemia. He was 43. I fell to the floor and I, I couldn't believe it. It was, blew my mind. When we found out David was sick in 2007, I had already been involved with Gift of Life and on the board. We spoke to Jay, we spoke to LLS. I have two sons, David and Brad. The first thing they asked was, could they test Brad to see if he was a match? He's my older brother. And I was just hoping and praying that I was going to be a match. And he was not a match. It was just sort of a helpless feeling for all of us, because it wasn't just him that was sick. We were all in this together. It was absolutely devastating for all of us. But true to Susan and Eddie's personality, they immediately rallied. What can we do? How can we help? Who do we know? What phone calls can we make? They had these relationships with blood cancer charities before David was ever affected. So that was, to me, just kismet. The US FDA has given the green signal for the launch of genetic copies of Gleevec. They gave us the name of a doctor that we should see. I called Dr. Druka in Oregon and we all flew out there. He had just got approved with a drug called Gleevec, which prior to that was not available to anybody that came down with CML, which is what David had. Prior to the introduction of medications like Gleevec, we would have a conversation with patients and their family that their life expectancy was three to five years, and unless they underwent a bone marrow transplant, there was no cure. David's here alive and well 17 years after diagnosis with no traces of his leukemia due to the medications we've developed. Patients diagnosed with acute leukemia today, we still use stem cell transplant is the most effective treatment available. I want to thank Gift of Life and particularly the emphasis on ethnic minorities. Gift of Life has changed those odds and please keep up the great work that you're doing. I would have walked through fire and hell 
when David got sick. Thank God my son's doing well on the medications and the doctors that are taking care of him. And we're now here in 2024 and David is healthy with a two-year-old child. It's our first granddaughter. Mind-boggling to see how many lives Gift of Life saves. Realize if I wasn't lucky, I would have been lucky to have Gift of Life. It's an incredible experience. The Gift of Life, it's so impactful. It makes you want to get involved. It makes you want to be a part of it. Ed and Susan have done such remarkable work and I'm, I'm so pleased to see that they've chosen Gift of Life as a place to devote their energy and enthusiasm. And so I'm just so grateful that they're being honored for this, for all the impact that they've had on this organization. I'm very proud of my parents. They deserve to be honored because they do so much for other people. Yes. It rubs off from both of them in a big way. Feld means field of flowers, so he feels compelled to do everything that he can for life. To grow. <laughs>